What's up guys, Mike here. Welcome back to Game Dev with AI, the place where we're developing our first real-time strategy in the game, just mere alone with the help of tools provided by AI, such as ChatGPT, Midjourney, and so forth. If you follow our progress, we made quite a good progress over the last few weeks developing all different elements of our game. And for a long time, my daughter Melissa has been asking me to add the tanks, enemy tanks to the game so that blue team is providing some sort of better resistance to us so it's more fun to play but there is a big challenge adding the tanks to the game and now I'm gonna show you why so in this video we are going to try to add the tank to the game and also destructible rocks which can be destroyed and then you can pass through it this is the one of the biggest elements of the game Let's get started with the tank. So first let's cover the basics. Each tank in 2D game consists of the base and uh, the gun, the turret. So the base is going itself and then the turret is pinned to the base and it's turning 360 degrees. So in a primitive game, this is a sample I found with Riley. Take a look. If we play this game, you see turret is turning around and it's all very nice, very easy, turret is pointing, it's turning 360 degrees, it's all behaving fine. But my challenge is our view is not really top down view like this. Our view is kind of from the back. So if we rotate our turret 360 degrees, we look terrible. Let me show you. So let's say this is our tank and this is our turret. And you can see our projection is more like a symmetric projection. It's not top down. I really cannot do top down projections with me joint. And I didn't even want one. This looks better to me. But look, if we turn our turret, it turns like this, very nice. This is good, right? But if we go too much, this looks really silly. If it goes too, too much down or too much up. So you can see if we go too much, it looks kind of broken. And my problem with this is the uh, turret, which is a sprite. Let's find it quickly. It has behaviors of the turrets, right? So we have turret behavior pin and line of sight. I'll explain them in a minute. Let's start with the turret behavior. The turret behavior allows you to set turret automatically track the enemies. So in our case, uh, we set the range rate of fire, how often it shoots, for example, every two, two seconds, rotating speed, predictive aim, so it's trying to predict where enemy is going, but there is no setting here to set the maximum angle of rotation. I really don't want turret to go all 360 degrees around. I really wanted it to set angle of rotation. Like, for example, from here to here, so it doesn't go all the way around. And this is quite a challenge for me. So if I could solve it, I'll show you how I tried to solve it first. And let me quickly show the code of the tank. So this is the tank greeting. And he has a turret greeting, which is a separate object. So if we see our tank, let's just see the tank. Uh, this one so it has no nodes so I remove the nodes this way uh, the nose is added using uh, the separate turret greeting now we create separate object tar turret greeting where is it created here and we pin it to our tank and we destroy it when the tank is destroyed now let's check the behavior. So when turret greedy has target of our units and it has line of sight, then it's, it should start 
shooting you can see here target shot and then we set animation to fire we create the bullet and so forth this is a regular behavior that we already discussed but the challenge is it rotates too much so i tried to add this check extra condition to check the angle between us and the enemy should be within 15 degrees so if we enable this condition uh, it will rotate less but if our enemy is on top or too much down the tank will not shoot so let me show you what will happen let's quickly run our playground okay Lock ready loaded. to kill let's get ready and waiting right away, sir. Territory taken. All right. The See? factory is out. Lock and load. Ready to kill. Right away, sir. Ready to kill. We have here problems with creeping. Consider but done. That's Consider story. done. Consider done. Right away, sir. I have two towers now, so it's shooting two times. So let's remove one. Okay, running again. Just one nose. All right. You see, it's pinned. But it's not flipping properly. Consider it's another done. story. Consider done. The flag it's right pinned well, but it has to be flipping together with the tank. It's always pointing here. Enemy flag secure. Consider done. So you see so many challenges. Right away, sir. Consider done. Ready to kill. On my way, sir. All right, let's turn you. On my way, sir. Right away, sir. Right it's away, striking sir. me. On my way, sir. Consider done. Ready to kill. Destroy On my base. way, sir. On my way, sir. But you Consider see, it's really done. not sir. shooting right because. Away, Every time I am ready to kill. out of my way, 15 uh, my way, degrees, I cannot shoot, ready to kill. On my way, but I can still Consider turn done. up. On my way, right away, sir. So we are not solving anything. I am going to disable this condition, because this is not helping at all. So now it will turn around, but it will shoot properly probably. Let's try. Lock and On loaded. my way, sir. Lock and ready loaded. to kill. Okay, it's turning. All right. Ready and waiting. Consider done. Consider done. Okay, it's striking us. Ready and waiting. Consider done. All right. Let's try to destroy. Right him. away, sir. Ready and waiting. Ready to kill. Ready and ready waiting. to kill. Lock and ready loaded. to kill. Consider done. Lock and load. On my way, sir. Lock and load. On my way, sir. Ready to kill. It's quite ready strong. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Come on, guys. Ready you can do it. On my way, sir. Oh, come on. It's killing everyone. Yes. <laughs> we killed him. Perfect. So for now, I don't have a perfect solution yet. It's just a start. Let me know in the comments if you know how to solve to make this tank work better with a rotating turret. We'll find condition. We'll find solution eventually. And meanwhile, I'll show you another thing that we developed: is destruction of destructible rocks. Our units can destroy destroy these rocks. And then they can pass through it. Let's quickly check it out. All right. So if we have Ready rocks on the way. Right away, sir. Right. It needs to capture the flag first. Enemy flag secured. Ready and waiting. Robots in production. When we are fighting, we're not destroying the rocks. You see, but now we can. If I remove oh, our enemies, we can focus more on the rocks. Let's do it again. Okay, let's focus just on the rocks. No flags, no everything. See, he starts destroying. And now he can actually pass through it. Ready and waiting. Right away, sir. Okay. And he will automatically destroy if the rocks is in the range. And now we can pass. Perfect. Very nice. 
Okay. He's trying to maneuver around the thing. Lock and loaded. Okay, then we die. Let's try with another one. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. So if we come too close done. to the rocks, done. it will automatically try to destroy them. Okay. And rocks create this kind of hole. And I can destroy them myself just for a test. Perfect, let me quickly show you how it did it. So rock itself is a sprite which has a lot of different types. When it's created we choose one of these types automatically. So you can see we create rocks here and we set animation one of those rocks so we have rocks of different times types each time we start and I also move them to the bottom of layer so uh, they're not overlapping our units then rocks also have health because we need to destroy them it's instant variable and if health is less than zero which means rocks are dead we create particle smoke we create decal hole which is uh, let me show you this one also we created with the journey several types it's what's left when something is destroyed like a tank we set animation we choose one of the holes types and we move it to the bottom of the layer so it doesn't overlap again we play our audio of destruction of the rocks and very important we need to recalculate our face finding map for our troops friendly and troops enemy to make sure they can now pass through the hole before that rocks were solid so they were not possible to pass through them if we check our behaviors it's a solid so until it's destroyed nobody can pass through it when they're destroyed we create particle smoke and the hole also fades away and then we create condition of rockets in collision with the rocks and then just temporary buttons to make sure uh, I can test it and also I created the particle debris particle which is creating debris flying this is the same way as we did sparks in the previous video just with different particles and now let's see everything together in our playground I made sure that our units destroy the rocks if they don't fight it. So let me just quickly move them away so you can see a little bit better. For example, with enemy. And now let's check it out. And this one closer. Alright. So enemies cannot pass. Well, they can probably because these rocks are, uh, have a hole behind so he will try to pass here through this hole but he cannot pass here so he is walking around obviously now let's destroy some of the rocks okay I destroyed them let's see now he should be able to pass through it see so it's working as expected so these are distractible rocks and that's, and that's our progress for today. All right, so quick update. I was looking at this abomination and I just cannot help myself. I need to make the better solution. I mean, come on, look at this tank barrel looking at six o'clock. It's just depressing me leaving it like this. So I decided to scratch it and start all over again with the tank and its barrel idea. I decided to get rid of the turret rotation completely. So here is the solution that I just implemented. So before I finish my video, let me show you what I did. And by the way, I apologize. My sound was crappy last few videos. I just noticed I was using the wrong microphone input in my Camtasia. It was just recording from the webcam instead of this mic. I mean, come on, man. 
it's just so many things to consider i hope sound is better right now so what i did is i created let's step backwards and get rid of this six o'clock nose yes i created three frames with the i keep calling it nose tongue barrel or turret with three positions of this nose down straight and up so basically three positions and not so much so let me show you the positions i used like this is down straight and up like this so we're not going to do this silliness or this silliness we really don't want all this crap like this like this and like this three positions that's it now i save them as three files we go back to our project Ten gritty so we have gritty front gritty up and gritty down image points origin in the center image point one is where we're shooting from image point two is our shadow that's it now i got rid of the turret object completely we don't need it for this tank it just doesn't make any sense in this isometric view it's only good for the top down view where you can rotate 360 but in my case it just doesn't look so good now what did we change in the code let's check i had to rewrite everything from scratch i removed the object of turret greeting now i'm checking if we have line of sight of the enemies and we check the position of the enemies and my position relative to the enemies so take a look here for example up uh, gritty up if a position of y on the y-axis is compared to our units uh, because uh, gritty is enemy so i compare to our units y so we compare the position of compared to enemies if enemy is here turret is here if enemy is here turret is front if enemy is here turret is down here we go so i write this line of code it's not a code but conditions okay and then this is down this is front chat gpt help me by the way we've been chatting a lot with chat gpt over here and he was helping me really a lot defining all these conditions where we put turret up turret down so i'm still using a lot of help from chat gpt as well now next i needed to rewrite firing so i got rid of the turret that was firing before and now the sprite itself time gritty is going to fire it so every two seconds instead of turret our tank will wait a second because we don't want him instantly fire doesn't look good he needs to like rotate and um, get ready for fight that's why it's tiny delay then you will see why i'm using this sign in just a second and then we sp spawn a bullet from the tank this time not from the turret from the image point one which is the end of his nose we, again we set animation to to bullet we set angle of the bullet into the enemies and this one i will explain also a little bit later then we run sparks just to add uh, visual effects here and also we run the sound then we fade out the particles then we wait a second we disable sign so before i explain what sign means here and why we use this let me show you the idea let's run the playground here we go lock and loaded on my way sir okay so ready and waiting. ready to kill now he will see us lock and, and loaded ready firing. to kill see he goes barrel down ready and, waiting. and pay on attention my way, what's sir. happening when he's firing there is a recoil going ready to kill right away, so sir. when he's firing he's doing this recoil which is really cool lock and, right away, sir. and it feels like it's animated it's ready much better than just static that's why right i was away, hitting this sign right away, 
Oh, he actually won. Everyone is dead. Good job, pretty. All right. So now you see why I did this sign. So this sign behavior is going to be uh, rotating greedy. Where is the sign behavior? Line of sign. Sign is for an angle. Basically, when greedy is shooting. Okay, let's do this. Greedy is shooting. We are gonna do recall a little bit, move him back using this greedy set X. This actually GPT suggested to me. And then we are also rotating him a little bit up and then down back. So this way he looks like when he's firing, he's going recoil back and then a little bit up. And this looks really cool in and well animated. So now everything is much better. Let me just put some, for example, hero tank. And let's see how it works with two greedy. And greedy is now just one object. There is no turret. We don't need it here, actually. All right, this tank is, doesn't shoot, but and it's immortal. I mean, come on, one step at a time. Let's see how it works. It just goes. See, they start shooting him. And they turn perfectly. And the turret doesn't go too low. It doesn't go six o'clock. Okay, now they miss. Okay, looks much better than before when the turret was going all the way down or too high up. See? Now we're talking. Lock it on my way, sir. Let's see if we can win. I don't think we can win two tanks. But let's Lock give it a try. Go cool, rocket guys. I mean, come on, man. Let's use this immortal tank with the recoil. Ready to kill. kill him. He's really strong. It's a medium tank for our game. And as soon I want to add like a pilot that you can shoot out and then you can recapture the tank. All right. So you see, guys, this looks much better. Now I'm much more excited than before. You can hear it from my voice because that abomination with the nose at six o'clock really depressed me before. That's all for now. Let's keep on going and keep developing our game. I'm very excited to see our progress so far. I hope you are as well. That's all for today. Take care. Cheers.